Well, it's been another week, another set of marches, clashes with the police, conflicting orders for frontline coppers, and all of this after the appearance of a group of white-shirted thugs who were happy to bash unsuspecting passers-by as hard as they could in cold blood. Where better than this? Here's five things that the government can do. At number five is the government binning the extradition bill. Low downside, high upside. And while you're at it, fire the police bosses. They've demoralised their own force. Weak police leadership is an invitation for the army to step in. And number four is my favourite. Spend the people's money on the people. We have staggeringly high reserves that are spent on big vanity projects. Uh, who cares? Hong Kong should become the micro-transport capital of the world. More outdoor escalators and travelators. More bridges, pedestrian tunnels, public lifts, flyovers, slip roads and more MTR lines. And especially more disabled access. Racing through number three, we have first-class health, housing and education for the rich. An economy class for everyone else. Private doctors charge enough to make you ill. And the rest of us use almost free but really busy public services. The government should establish a business class for the middle class. Building not-for-profit mid-quality schools and hospitals for those who can pay a bit. Number two is for an old fogey like me. Start again with a new pension system. The MPF is not fit for purpose. And sitting at number one, bring in an antitrust law and a competition commission with the teeth to break up the city's cartels. In reality, the fat cats would feel little pain, but the overburdened population will find life a little cheaper. But to do all of this, Chief Executive Carrie Lam will have to come out of a bunker. But with this package, she might come out smelling like roses.